Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an automatic bird feeder. So uh, what I've got is an old plate. Um, he made some, I'm using the zinc 3 and 16 and two plastic bottles and some wire. So the first thing we're going to do is to drill a hole in the centre of our plate. And then we're going to put that aside. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm just making it because I want it about that deep to hold the food. I'm just going to mark where I'm going to cut it. So it's about. And then just make a little archway and then just cut that out on both sides. So we've cut the bottle out. As you can see, it's got little arches on it like that. Now what you need to do is just cut it off just above the arches. I've cut the top off now and that's what we have. A hole in the middle and a hole at the top here and now we're going to drill a hole in the centre here to match the plate. For the second bottle what you're going to do is just along the line here you're going to cut it almost through but leave at least four centimetres at the back. So it's cut all the way around without cutting four centimetres. So I've drilled the hole in. Now we're going to just attach the plate and the bottle like that using their little... I like to put the screw on the inside and put the bolt on to the bottom of the plate. So I've cut the bottle at the top. So now you can see it just opens and then you fill all your seed in there and it just closes. Remove the bottom cap and before I put the wires on it I like to paint them so that's what I'm going to do. So the plate and the connection is attached, this just falls into there and then we wire it all together and all the food gets dispensed into the bottom tray. The birds can sit on here and I just eat out the little tray at the bottom. Now I'm going to paint it. But before I paint it, I like to put a piece of masking tape down on the side so that I can keep a window open so that I can monitor the food because I normally paint the whole bottle except for the top part here and the bottom part on this one, just that part there. Everything else I'm going to be painting in raw umber which is a brown, so that it looks like wood. My brown paint is now dry, so what I've taken is some raw amber and some black and mixed it together to give me a really, really deep dark brown. Then I'm going to just take a really small paintbrush, like that, and I'm going to paint some lines on it to make it look like it's wood. So just doing some squiggly lines. I don't even think you can see this. And then we're just going to paint all the way around because I don't think you can actually see what I'm doing. Try and get some light on it. For the other bottle, what I've done is I've jammed the top open just with a piece of metal or plastic, whatever you can find. And then I'm going to just paint the top of it in white to put a base coat down so I can actually paint the flower on it. So now when you paint the top part of it, try and leave this particular part, which is the groove on the sides, try and leave those open so that it actually looks like a flower. I'll show you what I mean. So I finished painting the white and as you can see I was talking about leaving the groove vacant it then looks a wee bit like a flower and then I'll put that side to dry and I'll paint it later. I'm going to be painting the flower now. You can paint the flower in whatever colour that you want. I'm using some and as I've taken some crimson red and I've mixed it with black to give me a really nice bright 
colour and I've taken crimson and cadmium yellow to mix it together to give me an orange. I'm just starting in painting it on this side. So I'm only painting to the end and I'm leaving the centre white. We'll do the rest of them. Now I'm going to take the orange and just paint it in the middle. So now that the middle is all painted orange, I'm just going to try and blend the colour in so that it mixes slightly. So just blending it a little bit like that. Then I'm just putting the orange on the tips here as well and pulling that through. I'm with a very fine brush really tiny like that. Put some of the, I'm putting some of the crimson colour one back on and we're just going to pull some little stripes through. Then with crimson, pure crimson, just taking crimson and just doing tiny dots around the side and then a few in the middle. And some cadmium yellow and the same just a few little dots in the middle and then just put that aside to dry now that everything is dry we can remove the masking tape and now we have our window to see how much food we've got in it now you can undo the cap at the bottom And what you want to do now is take a hot knife or a nail or something like that and just poke two little holes in either side of both the containers. So at the top here and on the other side. Try to line them up that your window is not covered. So you want to put it so that you can actually see your window for the food. So line it up in the little archway. Now we're going to wire it together. So to wire it together, it's a little bit tricky to do this on camera, so what I'm going to just explain to you what you're going to do. You're going to thread your wire through the one hole, lift your cap up, put your hand in and thread it out the other side. So I'm going to do that so long. So once you've done that, your wire's through, Extend the wire to on top of the bottle. Make sure that you leave enough space between here and your loop so that when you open the cap, it can still open. So at the top, I just use a big marker like that. Turn the wire around the marker and then twist the marker a few times to get a nice loop you've got a nice loop. Then what you're going to do is take the wire round the other side and thread it through the two holes on the other side so that it's all attached. When you cut the wire to put it through the other side, leave a little bit extra. You can always trim that off afterwards. Now we've attached all the wires, so we've got the hanging cars coming down. It's all attached at the top here, and then moving down where you've got it connected, and your automatic bird feeder is ready to fill. For making the hooks to hold the feeder in the tree, what I do is I take the 0.9mm gauge wire, fold it in half, stick it into my chuck, and then hold the wires together at the end with a pliers. Make sure your drill is in the forward position and then just rotate it. And then you have a really nice strong piece of wire like that to hold your feeder. So for demonstration purposes only, I'm going to just be pouring some sunflower seeds in. Normally I use the wild bird mix.
And as you can see, it just dispenses straight out the bottom. And put a bit more in. And as the food is used up, it just comes out a little bit closer. As the food moves, is eaten, it's dispensed out. So it's always full at the bottom. And looking at your window, I didn't put a lot in. The window is empty now. If you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.